All right, my friends at WP Managed Ninja have launched a new plugin. It's called Fluent Booking. You may have seen a few people talk about it. It's basically a calendar plugin for booking appointments and stuff like that. Now, there have been some walkthrough videos by other people already. I would just want to comment uh, on how I see it and let's, you know, try to make you to where you can evaluate whether it's going to be a solution that you want to grab a license to. So let's talk about Fluent Booking. All right, so Fluent Booking is the latest plugin from WP Managed Ninja. These are the same guys that have created Fluent Forms, Fluent CRM, uh, Ninja Tables, uh, the WP, what's it called, Social Ninja. They've got a few of them. Uh, I have tried all of them, and they're all pretty good, high-quality plugins. The ones I use the most are Fluent Forms and Fluent CRM, of course. But that actually leads us into why Fluent Booking is probably going to be such a solid option for a lot of people, especially if you use those two plugins, because they're going to have one of the tightest integrations you'll ever see. And that's a really big deal. So here's the thing. When you book something, when you, when you have somebody books an appointment with you, you want to be able to send out the appropriate email follow-ups before and after the event. You want to be able to tag them in your CRM a certain way and perhaps trigger certain automations. Another cool thing that's really nice is to be able to build really nice forms like you could do with Fluent Forms, but build a scheduling field into it so that that they can book an appointment while filling out that form. And that's different, by the way, than a calendar that allows you to add booking fields to the calendar, like what's your appointment about and that type of thing. With a, with a plugin like Fluent Forms, you can actually create really involved forms that do a lot of fancy things and send data where they need to go, but you also have a scheduling field in there, and it's a really, really powerful way to go. But when you have that triage there of Fluent CRM, Fluent Forms, and now Fluent Booking, that makes a really, really powerful combination. When it comes to alternatives, there's a lot of calendars out there, like more than I can count. Now, one of the most popular is, of course, Calendly. Now, uh, right now, I actually am using Calendly myself. Uh, it is a good platform, but the thing is, it is remotely hosted, okay? So um, that means that there's a subscription fee associated with it, unless you have nothing but the most basic features. Uh, they, they do have the free option here, but you can only have one type of event. There's a lot of like limitations to it. And it doesn't take long before you're like, ah, crap, I'm going to have to pay the, the $10 a month to get this thing to happen. And so therefore, you're tied to that fee. The other thing I've noticed with Calendly is that you can embed your Calendly onto your site. However, because it's an iframe embed, the way that that it actually goes into the site can be a little weird. Like sometimes you can have a little bit of a vertical scroll situation and stuff like that because it's it's in an iframe, it's not native. Uh, but it does work pretty well if you're willing to pay the recurring fee. Um, and then the other remotely hosted options are the same. There's always gonna be that point where you're going to need to pay and then you're on a recurring plan. It, and they also, because they're remotely hosted, they don't have that native integration with WordPress. Now, one option that I have looked at in the past is called Simply Schedule Appointments. Now, I have actually done a review of this one in the past, and, and it's a good plugin, I will say. One of the things I really liked about it when I found it is the fact that it is um, integrated with WP Fusion, because that allows me to trigger automations and stuff using my CRM, and that's a really powerful feature. Now, the one thing I will say about Simply Schedule Appointments is that I'm not a big fan of their, their interface. I, I don't think it looks as professional. In fact, when you are actually messing with the settings of Simply Schedule Appointments, you're in a very, very obviously non-native interface. It lo doesn't look like WordPress anymore. I don't like it. I think it's kind of stupid the way that it, it, it looks, okay? And I've had to do some things to try to make it look a little bit better on the front end, too. And so that's one of the things that I will say about fluent booking. It's way more professional looking. I'll show you that in just a second. Another one that people have looked at is called Amelia. Okay. And I'll be clear. I have not actually tested this particular plugin, but when I look at some of the things that it does, it looks like it does all the basic stuff. Google's calendar integration, which is pretty standard now. 
Uh, it could take online payments. It does have WooCommerce integration, which is nice. Um, recurring events. And it, to be clear, uh, this plugin, WP Amelia, is a more mature plugin because it's been around longer. Fluent Booking is young, but it's going to get there. Of that, I have absolutely no doubt. Um, also, I've saw this interface here, and I don't like it as much. It's got this frame going on. And so maybe those things are customizable. But again, it's this is a probably a pretty full featured option. Uh, let me look at the pricing. I've actually never looked at the pricing of this. Okay, so the two hundred ninety nine per year for unlimited domains. Okay, lifetime, pretty steep at eight ninety nine. Okay, so you know it, it's an option out there. So personally, I think having your calendar integrated directly into WordPress is the preferred way to go. Even though there's definitely a convenience to a remotely hosted calendar, such as Calendly, you've got the recurring bill, but then because it's inherently not part of WordPress, you have that, that complication of, okay, how do we get the data back into WordPress? How can we control uh, the tagging situation? You know, it's one of those things that if you have your business set up in such a way where you just use a bunch of third-party tools, well, maybe Maybe something like Calendly works for you. I'm personally a, pref you know, I prefer to have everything in house if I can do it. And uh, simply schedule appointments was what I used for a long time. Like I said, I didn't like the interface very much. Fluent booking though looks pretty darn good. It's got a very professional interface. So how about we pop over to screen and let me show you fluent booking. Now, I'm not going to sit here and do a full-on walkthrough with Fluent Booking because obviously there's going to be a lot of other people that have done that. And not only that, it's just not even helpful because they can show you that stuff. But I just want to point out, I mean, it, it, it's a nice professional interface. It's very native into WordPress. I mean, there's the WordPress menu. Very different than simply schedule appointments where it, it literally takes over the screen. It looks completely different. I don't particularly care for it. Uh, when it comes to our calendars, we can set up as many of them as we want with different teams members they call them hosts so if you have multiple people on your staff that you want people to be able to book appointments with that's not going to be any problem and then of course each person can have multiple event types as well and being that this is all wordpress you can obviously create as many as you want here's one for strategy call where we we were popping through the the options here you can enter the description blah 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 set up your availability here um you know it's you can also integrate this with google calendar as well. I do hope that they're going to create new calendar integrations because I, I don't want to use Google if I don't have to. Personally, I prefer Fastmail. I'd like to see something with iCloud, but again, this is the first version. I think we're going to get there. Under email notifications, it's got all the built-in notifications here that you're already going to want. Okay, which is really neat. That being said, it obviously is going to integrate beautifully with Fluent CRM. I'll show you that in just a second. So you can trigger any other types of emails and campaigns that you want based on these events. By the way, I'll also mention that WP Fusion came out with their own integration with Fluent Booking before the thing even launched. So WP Fusion already works with it. Basically, you can now integrate this thing into any CRM you want. And that's a gorgeous thing. Uh, under booking questions, this is where you can actually set up your custom fields in order to ask some things other than name and email as they're actually booking. But keep in mind too, because there's a Fluent Forms integration that you can actually create the most complicated forms you ever, you'll ever want and still put a booking field in there because you can basically create whatever form you want with any field types you want. And then you just drag and drop a scheduling field into there integrated with Fluent Booking and they can schedule a call while they're filling out the form. And then you could tag them appropriately in the CRM and everything. I mean, literally you could do almost pretty much anything that you want with this system. And that's what makes me so interested in it. Payment settings. This is, of course, if you want to charge people for your appointments. Now, it's got built-in integration with Stripe, and it can knock it out, okay? But it doesn't yet work with things like WooCommerce. Uh, but at the same time, depending on how you have that set up, you don't really need an official integration with WooCommerce because you can just charge them in WooCommerce and then send them to your scheduler. So it's still the same thing. I, I personally, I, I've seen some people ask about a WooCommerce integration and I'm like, well, it doesn't really need one. 
That being said, it'll probably come officially. It, for webhooks, it's all built right in. Uh, you can send webhooks to any third-party service you want and integrate it with practically anything. And then, of course, with the integrations, you see that I've got one here for Fluent CRM because I've got that installed here. Um, if you open it up, you can. You, it's, it looks like a standard Fluent CRM integration. You can add or remove tags based on different events and all that type of thing. And so it works out really cleanly with Fluent CRM. I also want to point out that if we go over to Fluent CRM itself into an automation funnel, you'll see that we can actually use these as a, uh, automation steps, okay? And you can see that I've already created one here just as a basic thing that we can say, well, whenever a new booking happens, we can then build whatever automation we want here, okay? If, if we go to our uh, trigger, let's go to create another automation. Let's go to create a new automation, and you'll see under booking, there we are. We've got two native integrations there where we can trigger automations and do these things based on a new booking or an event being canceled. So that integration is just built in, ready to rock and roll. Back into Fluent Booking, you, of course, will have your list of bookings when they show up. That's pretty self-explanatory. If you go over to Availability, you can actually set availability uh, for different types of setups for different people and all that kind of stuff. And Fluent Booking will list those things. You can also, it looks to me like you can actually set up different schedules as well, which would be kind of neat and kind of make them live when they come in handy to you. That, that's actually kind of a neat little feature. I'll have to play around a, a little bit more. If we pop over to settings, you'll see some of the, the basic stuff. For example, Google Calendar integration, Zoom integration, integration with Stripe, stuff like that. Now, one thing I will point out is that they do need to make the Google Calendar integration and Zoom easier because right now it is a pretty dorky thing to do. You got to go in there and create an app and all this kind of stuff. I do think they need to set this up to where it's just a basic um, authorization where you just hit a button and it just you make a connection and accept it and boom. They need to make that a lot more user friendly. We're not there yet. It's probably coming though. Um, and you can set up your team members and stuff like that. And just to show how it works with Fluent Forms, again, on this particular install, I don't even have the pro version of Fluent Forms. This is just the free version of Fluent Forms. If you go to add a new form, let's create a blank one. I'm not gonna go through all the work. You know how you can drag and drop forms and create anything you want. But if we go under advanced fields, you'll see we have a Fluent Booking field now. If you drag this in, you'll see a little preview here, okay? But the thing is, you pop over to here and we can, just like normal, add our admin field label. We could choose what calendar we wanna bring bring in, what guest, all this stuff. They can literally book an appointment as part of a bigger form combined with all the other things that we can already do with Fluent Forms. That's really, really powerful. That's really powerful. And just to show you what it looks like on the front end for people who are going to be scheduling with you, Fluent Booking actually has a little demo already set up on their site. And if you scroll down, you'll see what it actually looks like. It's nice and easy. By the way, you can drag this in with a Gutenberg block or whatever the heck. Make It's really easy to put onto any page that you want. You could see that they pretty much did kind of model this off of Calendly, really. It looks very, very similar. You pick your date. You got your time. Hit next. Enter your name, what's this meeting about, custom fields, and you schedule that bad boy. And it's just like, it's very A to B, very easy. The emails will go out automatically after the person is scheduled. Anything that you set up back there is just going to happen, and it does work pretty well. The last thing I want to point out here in the interface with Fluent CRM, it's not just the automations. It's also that it shows the bookings right there on a person's lead profile. So that's one of the beauties of using all these fluent tools because they work together so great. You'll see that I can look up, of course, this is me, one of my test profiles, but you go under form submissions, you'll see anything that they've ever filled out across your entire website that's using fluent forms. But now we've got a new one called booking. So you'll be able to see anybody's appointment history of any appointment type with any team member. All you got to do is look them up in your CRM and all the data is going to be right there. So that's Fluent Booking in a nutshell. I mean, it's pretty A to B what it's doing. Uh, I think for a version 1.0, they really did a great job with it. And I am seeing them, even since the initial release, they're already releasing a few incremental upgrades to fix various things. They're doing a great job with it. And I know from my history with this company, with Fluent CRM and Fluent Forms, is it, they, these, are not, uh, these are not fly by night people. Fluent Booking is going to get a lot better over time. And I think this is going to be probably 
end up becoming one of the leading options for WordPress-based appointment schedulers, especially because this company knows how to get it integrated in with business-oriented tools that we will use with WordPress. Um, and, and it's so it's going to make things really easy. I think especially if you're using Fluent Forms and Fluent CRM, both of which are just awesome plugins, by the way. My, the, the, the integration between these three tools is going to be something you probably are not going to find with any other option out there. And it just it makes it so seamless to be able to have everything easy to manage, easy to see people's appointment histories and everything all in one spot on their profile with a beautiful interface, not some weird one like simply schedule appointments. Um, it's, it's just clean. And I'm really happy to see that they did this. A few things that I think they should probably look at putting into uh, future versions. First of all, they do definitely need to make the integration, the the, the hookup between Google and uh, and Zoom and those things easier. It's just really kind of nerdy right now. It's not very much fun. Once you've made the connection, it's a done deal, but it just kind of requires some steps and it's annoying. So they need to make that a lot simpler. I do want to see them come out with more integrations, of course, especially with other calendars. I'm partial to fastmail.com. I know a lot of people are not. I just happen to use fastmail, so I'm selfish about that one. Uh, but I'd like to see uh, iCloud for for native integration in with the uh, the Apple ecosystem and just other popular calendar plugins. And I know, of course, if they go with a, a CalDev setup, then it, you're going to be able to integrate with lots of different things. But I just want to. I don't want to be forced into using Google. Um, I think that having the list of upcoming appointments and being able to put them right on the WordPress admin dashboard would be really handy. That way you don't have to go into the, the specific uh, admin screen. I think being able, and I don't, it may not be there, I actually don't know, but if I could put a Gutenberg block onto my site where somebody could log in and on, a, say, their member start, membership dashboard, they can see their upcoming appointment so they don't forget. I think that would be a really cool feature to have that front end appointment history on there as well. Um, those are just a few things that come off the top of my head, but I will say for a first version, they've done a really great job and I'm really excited to see what they do with this plugin moving forward. Um, for somebody like myself, I think this plugin is already pretty close to what I would need and want personally. Uh, I could see this thing growing into being able to book assets like for hotels or you know restaurant reservations and i could see other more uh, unique use cases that they might want to expand this plugin into uh but for somebody like me who just does coaching and i, I do you know simple calls like that it's 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 pretty much there. It's pretty much there and ready to rock and roll. And I, I can see that they're already fixing a few of the shortcomings that came out with version 1.0. So that's slow booking. I'm really happy to see what they've done here. So to end off, the big question is, should you end up buying? Should you buy Fluent Booking? Well, I think if you are really integrated in with a third-party system like Calendly, but yet most of your business runs inside of WordPress, I think Fluent Booking is sort of a no-brainer for you. Um, you know, if, if you just kind of want to get out of the the forced recurring fees with something like Calendly, I think Fluent Booking might be a good option for you. Um, it's, uh, it, it's, it's inherent strength is the fact that it's so tightly integrated in with WordPress itself and the other Fluent plugins. Now, um, I, I'd like to see them maybe open up to having a, a, an, a, an integration with something like Gravity Forms, just because not everybody uses Fluent Forms. But I know if you use Fluent, it, it really rocks, and it's sort of a no-brainer. Um, at this particular point, um, if you were... You know, it, it is an early version, and so f you, you have to think ahead a little bit. Like, a, as of this recording, they're offering it as a lifetime license, and it's a pretty good deal, if I do say so myself. But it's uh, it's one of those things where, you know, depending on your specific needs, there might be some things you're like, um, it doesn't do that quite the way that I want. I would recommend that you probably just consider buying the lifetime license anyway, because those features usually do come. These, this company really does improve their stuff over time. And if you can get a lifetime license, you're going to probably end up being very happy you have it. 
Um, so it's a pretty good deal overall, and especially if you use these Fluent tools, okay? So that's pretty much my overall thought. If you have any questions that I can answer for you, feel free to comment, and I will answer you there. But I didn't want this to be like a traditional feature-by-feature -feature walkthrough, because you're going to be able to see that on their website. All I can say is that I vouch for these guys. I've used their plugins. I use them all the time. I put them onto client sites all the time. They do a really great job, and I'm just happy to see that they've created a yet another tool that's just going to be a powerful part of my arsenal.